Hey guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add timelines to your board in Trello. Now, as you can see here, I'm in my workspace here and this board is called My Ideas. Now, there are a few cards here that I have on this specific board. Now, in order to enable and use the timeline feature, you want to click the drop down here right next to boards and you want to find timeline and you want to check this box to enable the timeline. Now, as you can see here, once I do that, I have the timeline feature available at the top here. And I can click on this and here it will show I have a few, let's say, tasks running. Now, I'm gonna show you how to basically add these timelines. So, I have a few tasks here. So, on the left-hand side, you have your to-do, you have your doing, and you're done. So, let's work with one of these to-dos. You want to basically click on anywhere on these three or the plus, and it's going to show you what you have going on here. So here you can see that I have, for example, the one that says my next destination, right? And I can click on this. And basically what you want to do to be able to add a specific timeline to make this work, you want to basically add the date. So you want to click on dates and you want to ensure that you click a start and an end date. So let's say I want to add this for the start date, I'm going to check the box start date and I'm going to say I want this to start, for example, on the Monday the 7th and I want it to run all the way through till about the 28th right so let's say that and i want to basically click and save i don't need a reminder but i can add a reminder if i so desire but let's say that's the destination that's the time now it is added there and if i click off you will see that it is no added in the destination no you're not seeing the entire month but you can easily switch the view from the week to for example the month and you can see how it runs all the way through here guys and if i go across you can see that it's running all the way through until the 28th year, guys. And that's it. So that's how you go ahead and use timeline. Now, the timeline feature is very handy because you can always find these different tasks that are currently running in a timeline. And if a particular time is task is, let's say, completed, you can just go beside the checkbox here and you can see this little, let's say, radio button here. And you can just hover over it and you can say, mark it as complete. So let's say I want to mark the Facebook one as complete. I click on that and guess what? I have it there and I can mark it as the complete and you can see that it's marked as complete. So when I go back now guys, this particular task will be marked as completed and you can see that it's now checked and that's it. So that's it guys, that's how you easily go ahead and let's say add timeline and work with timelines on your board. Now once you're finished with this timeline view, you can always switch back to the board view and you can see as well that this particular task is now marked as done but you want to make sure that if this is done you want to move it over to the done section but that's it guys very easy and very simple